Good morning, I'm Tom Wills from Axpar London Group and you join here at the 2024 Dust Off Boat Show and I'm stood on a very exciting new boat, the new Axapar 29 cross cabbing. For us, this is a very important model and we're looking forward to, in this video just to giving you a look around and showing you some of the new features of this fantastic new model. So, you can see I'm stood up here on this newly designed bow area and it really is just absolutely Good incredible. Good morning, Tom. Morning, Steve. Here How are you? Here again, Steve and Tom doing a video. Exactly. You can see here straight away, there's just so much more space on this new 29. This has got the optional additional seating section, which is on that starboard side, and that gives you the ability to sit. Oh, no, you could easily sit. What do you reckon, Steve? Well, you're, you're going to get people. Uh, six easy, two here comfortably, another three there, maybe three here, yep. six, six in comfort. A couple of different options here for layout. We're going to cut to some video we took yesterday and we'll show you the different configurations. So you've got the table here in the sort of dining section or position. You can also then fit the shorter legs on here to make this a sun pad area. And you can actually move the table further aft and go into this different locator pin on the floor and create a really nice sort of day bed lounge using this forward facing seat on the new multi-cabin there. And that's a really nice layout, so if you're just relaxing on a boat, you can use that space just to, just to relax. Really surprised you haven't mentioned cup holders. I was literally- you love a drink, Tom. I was just about to put my hand on that and say one big improvement on the new 29 is the cup holders. So what Axpar have done is I've really taken some feedback from 28 owners and general Axpar owners to incorporate some new features. So I really like those cup holders. You'll also spot the new JL audio system, uh, which is a new for the 24 model year boat. So we moved to, to JL and Clarion, which is really nice to see. And I love just all the detailing um, on the seats and everywhere you look just is, yeah, this, it's a lovely boat to look at, it really is. I mean, I'm still taking it in. We've been here for four or five days now and every time I come on the boat, I'm noticing different bits. I don't know about you, Steve, but. Well, I, I mentioned, if you remember, when I nearly froze to death in November in Helsinki, yeah. seeing this boat for the first time, the catches on the lockers. Yeah. So useful. So many boats, you have to lift cushions to open a latch, to open a locker lid. Yeah. On here now with this design, it's so much easier to access these spaces. I mean, this has got the um, uh, anchor, electric anchor winch, and I, I like this optional cushion as well up here on this anchor locker. And that's a really cool idea where you just put your hand through the cup holder to open, the, to open that. So you can see here, you've got the electric anchor winch, and this is a much better, bigger area. I mean, you could easily put a couple of lines in there. Fenders couple, well. Yeah, I think you get a couple of fenders in there, no, no issue. So that's a nice, a nice feature. You've got um, navigation lights, etc., up there as well. Look at this glazing here, Tom, into this multi-cabin. Very reminiscent of the 37 with the uh, glazing in the roof. So you're flooding this space with light. Yeah, definitely. Really cool. It's really important. And, then, and no doubt, you know, everyone has probably seen already in lots of pictures how this multi-cabin works, but it, it really is a really smart design. What I like about this is if you have the, um, you don't have the aft cabin at the back, You've got all that space at the back to utilise, but you've still got a bedroom. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And I think that's one of the things I've picked up on. You don't actually need to have, I mean, let's face it, most of the 28s we sold all had half cabin. Yeah. And we really found that was quite a key point on those, especially for resale. But what's interesting on this, you almost don't need to have the cabin, half cabin, because you've always got this space here. It's a great storage space. So powder boards, dry bags, you know, all the kit that goes with it. And I mean, I'll just show you getting into here. It's just so easy, straight onto there straight down and once you're in here as with the 28 because that was such a clever design and I don't want to take anything away from the 28 because it is such a great boat but when you're in here there's, there's just so much room it's easy to get into and then you'll see here to get to use the loo it's very simple that just lifts up um, and then you've got the toilet with the functionality buttons down there and you might be thinking well, where are you going to wash your hands the sink just folds down like that and it's really it's a really clever piece of design someone's really thought about this you've still got access to behind the dash which is really important to get to all your wiring etc and all your bits and pieces and then you've got your fuse gear down here so your macerator for the toilet buttons down here and your as you, with the 28 all your fuse buttons there fridge build, forward bilge pump etc if you want to make this into a, a sleeping area this seat literally just um, step just unclips folds down your cushion flops over and you'll see that working really nicely you've also then got nice lighting in here all in all it's a really nice space and uh, it, a, you know, a great achievement wow tom love these high bulwarks you feel really safe and all these lines now all this design detail in the fiberglass just to create a more dynamic looking product this really is super cool see here this asymmetric layout of the helm seat still i've got lots of space the side decks feel really wide but very enclosed so you feel really safe 
and you can step in here really easily. What a great design, really cool. One of the comments that I had from one of our owners yesterday was just, well, they also really like that step in the side of the bulwark there, because actually it's easy for most people to step over the side, but you know, it is quite nice to have that step and it's quite important. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you were boarding another boat, if yeah. this was a chase boat, yeah. that's a really or cool feature there. You're alongside a, a fuel key or whatever, just to get up that bit higher is a bit easier. I mean, this space is just, I mean, every time I come in here, you see so again with the barrel, you see something different. And 28 was such a good boat. You know, I'm very fond of that boat. You know, I've had the pleasure of, of being on quite a few of them now, and it is really, really good. So it's hard to beat. And, and what Axe Power, I think, have done in here is just made that space better. We've got extended glazing at the back there. I mean, it's very clever how there's just nothing there, is there? I mean, the visibility at that rear of the, of the cabin is just fantastic. I, I'm not sure of the dimensions, but the hardtop definitely feels higher. Yeah. Certainly this glazing is much, much bigger. Yeah. You don't have that big structural uh, B pillar that was no. there on the 28. So the, there, the back end of the boat just floods this pilot yeah. out with light. I like this, the quality of the stainless steel fitting yeah, here. Definitely. This is really good. And you remember on my video, I mentioned that they were talking about um, painting the dashboard I can see they've done that that's yeah. really good again these safety handles you can imagine if you were driving because you're a bit of a lunatic I can hold on safely I mean the, the 28 aft cabin access cushion maneuver is a skill I think you have to learn with the flipping over and but the new arrangement on there Steve you just want to show how that works it's so much easier I mean it's, it's it, you, you no longer have to you know you no longer have to be a a magician to, to do it. You've got grab paddles up here, which is nice. And then you've obviously got the opening roof, which is retained over from, from the 28. Helm seats, really nice. I really like this color uh, fabric as well. I think it looks really good. You've got your pocket down here, which is really useful for all your bits and pieces. And USB that, charger here, I didn't notice oh, that before. I hadn't seen that before. Yeah. And the door openings, I think, are a lot bigger as well. I think that's another thing that I've noticed is that you've got you know, even more air. Uh, you really are outside with the doors back and that roof open. How does it feel? Sit here, Tom, and let's see what it's like. Do you feel close enough to the helm? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think from this position, it definitely feels more. Obviously, feels, you've got the adjustment on the seats. Yeah, a bit of adjustment. We've also got the movement on the steering wheel. I've got the throttles nicely to hand there. So yeah, I think it's a really nice, a really nice helm. I love this LED lighting that's crept into the helm here. Have we got the beers in there? Don't think so, because you can't drink and drive, Steve. Very true. Let's not forget. Yes. That's really cool. And I prefer the position of that switch. Yeah. I think when you're at sea running at speed, it will be much easier to reach up and operate these switches than where they were before. So that's, that's a good design evolution. Let's go and have a look at the, the rear of the boat. I can't believe this boat's 29 feet. No, and, it, and that's the thing. I think if you actually look at the measurements, it's pretty much the same length, isn't it, overall as a, as a 28. The improvement in, you know, improvement in the hull, more volume. They've extended these locker sections further aft, haven't they, to extend that hull, which I think is, or they extend the appearance of the hull. My favourite catches. Yeah, you like those catches, don't you? This is an, when you think about it, this is such an important boat. This was where Axapar started. Their 28 was how they came to be. They created a whole new genre of boating. They built over 2,000 of those products and it's helped get people on the water. Yeah. It's such a good value product, but the reason people love it is it does everything. It's high quality, it goes fast, it feels safe, it's comfortable, great storage, you can sleep on board. And this just takes all of those really, really important features to get people on the water and does it better. Well, one of our customers was here the other day he was explaining to me that one of the hardest things is when you've got a good product, how do you then make how that you make it better? better? I yeah. think from what I've seen at the show, it is the 28, just the next generation on. I like that lighting there, I think that's cool. Yeah. But I think when people run this boat, they'll see real importance with the new hull form, mm. in that the way the bow sits slightly higher. Mm. Certainly I've been out in a 28 and got wet mm. when I've, I've gone through waves because it ran flatter. This, I think this will instill more confidence yeah. and allow people to feel like they can go out in slightly heavier weather yeah. in an axe apart and certainly with the way this is going to change the, the whole characteristics the attitude of the hull this will be a, a better boat to go home in as well really important feature to show you here is how this is improved here so we've now got wow just look awesome access look i mean the quality of this the, the trick on a 28 to put your cabin cushions away or your exterior cushions away is you actually lift up that rear cushion open the window and slide them in and that's the, by far the easiest wasn't way of doing it, it. but it wasn't that easy it wasn't that easy you still got to lift a cushion and clip the window so had to have that as a one piece lift is really nice this is a nice touch i've mentioned this before this really quality finishing here on this vent it's difficult to tell on the camera probably but that is a window so you've got a huge window looking aft so if you are sleeping in that cabin and this, the, the aft cabin is actually, could be used as a cabin or storage, couldn't it? I mean, you could actually have it without, the, without these cushions. And if you have it without the cushions, 
It literally is just a huge storage area, which is really, really nice. I like this new soft decking as well. I think that's um, a really good step forward and it really suits the boat. I think it suits this new model really nicely. You've got your radar chair up there, which has been improved from the 28, but more space up there. 20 aerials is important for AIS transceivers to have that up there. Um, and then you've got your fishing target arch. Like these speakers, Tommy. Yeah, nicely located. And that fishing target arch there is a good handle to hold on to. So Steve, what are the engine options on the 29? Well, so as you can see, this boat's fitted with the, what was probably the most popular engine, the 300 naturally aspirated V8. Fantastic engine, lightest engine in its class, really cool sounding engine, but good balance of fuel economy, performance, speed. For owners that want the redundancy and the security of two engines, you can have two V6 engines, okay. so 200 horsepower yeah. each. But I'm really excited to see this perform with the new V10. That would be a cool engine, either a 350 or a 400. 5.7 litres, naturally aspirated. This is going to be as efficient, if not better, than the 28, is that Well, Jan Eric claims more efficient than the 28 because they've changed the attitude of the hull. There's less wetted area in the water. Okay. So he claims that this boat will be potentially faster. Um, slightly and certainly more fuel efficient. Okay, so we really hope you've enjoyed this first look at this 29 cross cabin that's here at the Dust Off Show. We're going to have lots of content coming for this boat, no doubt, over the course of the year. And as soon as we get our first boat in the UK, we promise to get you some content of the boat on the water, in testing, in our PDI stage, and by which point, I'm oh, sure please. that'll be really exciting. So yeah, but lots of content to come this year. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, drop us a like, and also put a comment in the, below. We really appreciate all these new subscribers and all the new views. So thank you very much for watching, and this is over and out for now.